Crikey, just as well we played that after nine o'clock, eh? Whew. And let's hope that Josh doesn't get a little chest infection again on March the 5th when they come back to the Carling for the, uh, rescheduled gig from last year. That was Queens of the Stone Age and Broken Box, and playing that for, uh, Man from Ladybeard. Hmm. I don't know who I'm going to play this next track for. I'm going to play it because, basically, they're supporting White Snake and Def Leppard at the arena. This is Blackstone Cherry. There you go. A bit of good old Johnny Cash. You can't beat a bit of Johnny on a Wednesday night. And uh, a couple of texts in. Texas. Texts, even, from Texas. No, not really. Anyways, uh, one saying, could you play a song of your choice for Poop Dash? Well, I shall. I was trying to think of something with scat in the title, or, you know, something like that. Something a bit scatty. But I couldn't. Anyway, so I'm going to play you a tune in a minute for Poop Tash. Hope you're listening, Mr. Poop Tash, or is it Mrs. Poop Tash? I don't know. And then James Clark. How could I forget you, James? You are indeed a juvenile delinquent. And I've got some issues that I need to discuss with you at some point. But I'll leave that for another day. Could I play The Art of Shredding by Pantera? I'm not sure I've got Pantera with me tonight, unfortunately. But I'll see, okay? See if I can do it in the next 45 or something. For now, though, I'm going to play you a little bit of, um, well, it's a band called Racer X. And uh, you might remember that I, I li rather like a tune called Godzilla, which was originally by... Uh, Blow Easter Cult, of course, and then Fu Manchu have done it, and a few other people have done it, and it's a cracking riff, basically. And this is Racer X's version, as you would expect from Mr. Paul Gilbert. It's got lots of shredding in it. Woohoo! So maybe you'd like this as well, James. But I'm playing this for Poop Tash. This is Godzilla. Oh no! They say you've got to go. Racer X. <laughs> the dodgy digital version of it. Don't you just know it? And don't you just love it when things like that happen on your CDs? In that case, let's see if we can have Unlucky for Some. Track 13. I was right looking forward to that now. Oh, maybe I should just clean the CD. I don't know. We'll see if this one works then. This is Cyanide. <laughs> they just get cheerier, don't they? By Death Stars. Track 13, though, could be dodgy. We'll see. You know, that was Death Stars and Cyanide. And I so wish that I'd been able to play Godzilla. And so does Davy Slight, by the sounds of it. Ah, Godzilla! Exactly, Davy. Probably going to see Paul Gilbert in May. I think that he's, that's when he's on tour with Joe Satriani. I think he is too, and I'm going to see him. I've got tickets to go and see Satriani and definitely Paul Gilbert. What a gig that's going to be. Off to see Alter Bridge as well this weekend. Should be canny. That's, uh, in Manchester, of course. What gigs am I off to see in the near future, Davis Light? Well, I'm off to see Steve Earle at the Sage. Uh, that's at the end of this month, and he's doing a solo acoustic gig. Him and uh, a lass called Alison Moore, I think, is supporting him. So I'm going to see him. Uh, I'm going to see Queens of the Stone Age, and I'm going to see Paul Gilbert and Joe Satriani. And now that I've got wheels, I may well go and see quite a lot more, I've got to be honest. And Jill in uh, Leicester says, by the way, you know who you should play on your prog is Eagle Eye Cherry. What? I didn't think so. A man easy on the ear and on the eye, though I know the visual appeal is meaningless on radio. You can hear his handsomeness. Think he may have done some stuff with Vern Reed as well. Eagle Eye Cherry. I didn't think so. Isn't he some kind of relation to uh, Nana Cherry? Who's far, far better, as far as I can remember. I think he did one tune that was passable. Anyways, I mentioned Steve Earle. Here's a Steve Earle track. I ain't satisfied. Not ever, never, ever, ever, ever. There you go, Steve Earle. And I've said it again, you see, there you go. That was it. Lovely. Steve Earle, sounding a bit like Bruce Springsteen, actually, on Helium. If that's possible. I wonder what Bruce Springsteen on Helium would sound like. Hmm. Jill says, I'm off to see Swan Lake by the State Sam Siberian Ballet. Ugh. Can't believe you don't like Eli. Nah, it's just not my cup of tea, man. What he really means is, etc., etc. Eagle Eye Cherry, Vernon Reed, and James Blood Omer. Down in Mississippi, down in Mississippi. I rest my case, my lud. The only 
version of Down in Mississippi that I like was by Pop Staples. And if I can find that for next week, I'm going to play it. Way down, down in Mississippi. Very good. And then Mrs. Clark says, What do you want to ask James? He's scared. Can you play My Old Dad's a Bin Man or Row Row Boat? Row Row Your Boat, please. I can't, but I can sing it to you. And Cheech, if you've got your little tape recorder going, here's another one for your show. Are you ready? My old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers. And that's enough of that. Or, of course, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. There you are. Lovely, eh? James, suffice to say, the question I was going to give you, or the thing I was going to tell you was, your power surge thing doesn't make any difference. I've had three crashes today. Three crashes, but I didn't bother telling you because there was all that palaver with whiteboards going on. And also, you say, how about Cemetery Gates by Pantera? You haven't got a lady beard, have you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm, maybe you have. Anyways, I haven't got any Pantera, but I'm trying to get you the art of shredding, okay? And if it comes, if it sorts itself out by the end of the show, we've got to let the system do its little bit, you know. But if it does it by the end of the show, I'll play it for you, all right? And then uh, Daz Hoon, or Das Hoon, I don't know whether it's Das Hoon or Daz Hoon, anyway, says, Hello, Ali, can you play any Sepultra or the sensational Alex Harvey band? Unfortunately, I have neither with me, Mr. Hoon. Um, and obviously, the radio station doesn't have any, especially not Sepultra, and I've just checked, it doesn't have any sensational Alex Harvey band either. But I promise, 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 that I'll play you some next week, okay? Definitely se sensational Alex Harvey band. I mean, they're very good. I didn't go and see them, but they were playing uh, recently at the Carling, I think, weren't they? And, um... He's, uh... <laughs> I just got another text, sorry. And, uh, he he's got the... They've got the singer from, uh, The Shaman. He was doing it. So there you go. James Clark, the young one, he was in your music tech class. Ah, Clarky. Not the other Clarky. There's two Clarkies. James Clark, what are you doing? What are you doing these days? Are you back in the forces? God, the texts are coming in thick and fast. Les says, out else from Texas, Mara. Me and the Memsarb enjoyed the show tonight. Pop Staples. He is a genius. James Clark, let me know what you're doing tonight. Well, not tonight. Sounds a bit bad. Hey, James, what are you doing tonight? No, what are you doing now? Because you were going to go and do the army, and then you didn't, and then somebody said you were doing it again. So, how are you doing? Hmm? Hmm? And sorry for the confusion. And if the other James Clark's listening, then, uh, it's all about power distribution, James. <sighs> But I'm going to try and get you some Pantera on anyways. Okay? Marvellous. In the meantime, here's another track by Rammstein. Because, of course, R is the letter of the alphabet spaghetti this evening. And this is for all the mutters in the world. Happy Mutters Day, ja? Mm. Rammstein. There you go. Happy Mutter's Day when it comes around. Mm, see? My throat's all better now. Hurrah. I'm quickly changing over CDs because I've only got the one CD player. I do hope that the Pantomime Society is enjoying the use of their CD player tonight because it's made my cd ring quite, 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 quite difficult. Can I just tell you? It's half nine. We've got only 30 minutes left of the show. Phew, I hear the world saying... Davy Slight in Manchester reckons that Bruce Springsteen on Helium would sound like Marge Simpson. Oh, Homer, I don't know. I just don't know. That's probably the worst Marge Simpson impersonation in the whole wide world, but there you go. In the absence of any sepulchre, which hasn't arrived yet, but I'm hoping will turn up by the end of the show, and if it does... <laughs> An email's just come in saying, James is doing the army. The man must have tremendous stamina. <laughs> hmm. And I 